But like I said, y'all pick y'all poison, which one y'all choose. I don't know which one I'll choose. But I'm blessed that I can have both of them. What's up guys, it's your boy Deuce, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I need y'all to do me a favor. Like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification bell to auto where y'all be notified every time I drop. Now it's been a little minute since we've been inside this car. And the fact that I got both of my old schools together right now, I had to go ahead and make this video. And like I said, this was a special video. It's a video I've been wanting to do ever since I got this car back. So, basically, I'm asking y'all which one would y'all rather have between these two old schools which old school would y'all rather have a box Chevy or a G body Cutlass now after y'all answer that question I want to ask y'all another question what old school in general do you want now I don't know what y'all consider old schools but I say my my definition of an old school is like 96 and pollen below that that type you feel me that, that's how that's my definition everybody got a different definition of old school cars some people say early 2000 cars are old school cars too but it's i i my main thing is well my definition is what the way i go by old school cars is cars that's older than me you feel me so i think like cars my age they're not old school but everybody definition is different so it's whatever you think is an old school so whatever old school you can think of or you want, you have to have one day, y'all let me know what y'all think or what y'all old school, dream old school car is. Or if not dream old school car, what old school cars do you have right now? Any of them questions. Answer any of them for me in the comments, you feel me? But like I said, we're going to be pulling this car out. It's in the carport right now. So we're going to pull this out. I'm going to move my Cutlass over and... I'm going to just show y'all both my old schools together. The fact It's just the fact that I got them both together. And now, both of them are licensed. Both of them got insurance. Both of them are running and driving perfectly. You feel me? So, the only thing I got to do with this car is I got to jump the battery because the battery been dead. Because I ain't been, like I said, I ain't, I ain't been driving it because y'all told me in the comments get a fan shroud because y'all don't want my engine to overheat and mess up. So, I haven't been able to find a fan shroud. I might... I can probably find one on eBay or something, but I was trying to see if I can find one at like a junkyard and go pick it up so I can have it same day. And I haven't been able to find one, so I ain't really been driving. This car has been mostly sitting. And then since I got my Cutlass back, I've been just driving my Cutlass nonstop. And this car ain't really been getting the love like it deserves. Now, I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit more about this, about it, my my dream car once I get out. And some of y'all might already know what my dream old school car is, what old school car I always wanted since I was a little kid. And y'all will probably know which one out of these two it is. I mean, we sitting in it, you feel me? So this was my dream old school car. I always wanted this, I wanted a box Chevy. It didn't have to be, I really didn't care what year. I just wanted a box Chevy. I needed one. Not. I, I don't like the two door Landau's that much. I don't know why, I, I just don't, I don't like them like that. I always wanted a four-door box Chevy. I didn't care what year. I didn't care if it had bench seats or bucket seats or any of that. I just wanted a box Chevy. I needed one because it was my dream and my goal since I was a little kid. And I got this car when I was either 19 or 20. I was young, like a couple years ago, you feel me? But, yeah, let me go ahead and get out, pull this car up. Well, first, I need to put it on the battery pack. But yeah, like I said, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn that post notification bell on the way, y'all be notified every time I drop. And yeah, let me hook up this battery pack so we can jump this car and we're gonna do a, a little cold start on the box because if y'all can't tell, we got half a tank of gas in here because I ain't been driving this car, bro. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get this battery pack jumped. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and try to get the box chevy started i told y'all the battery was dead because i ain't started or ran it and i said about two weeks two three weeks somewhere around there it's been a little minute and like i said the only reason that was the, the only reason why i ain't been driving it and been letting the sense because y'all told me to go ahead and get a fan shroud to keep the engine from overheating and 
I haven't found one. So I just I just told myself I'm not gonna drive it because I don't want to mess nothing up. Cause I'm I'm pretty sure fan shrouds are really important. And yeah, so let's go ahead and try to get this box Chevy started. Then we're gonna pull it out so we can put it right next to the cut dog. You feel me? So Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let me sit y'all right here really fast. Plug this up. And it should crank right on up because I charged my battery pack. Went ahead and charged my battery pack. So it should crank right on up. Hopefully, man, because I need to get this done. Because, I, like I said, I really want to record this video. Chevy loud. I'm gonna let it warm up for a little bit, then pull it out, let it run, you feel me, get everything cycling. Cause like I said, I ain't drove it or moved it, started up nothing in a little bit. So that's why it's a little bit louder as of right now. It, it'll quiet down a little bit. But yeah, this this is the loudest car I own by far, easily. Easily, bro. It's way louder than the Cutlass. And my Charger's a V6, so, yeah. This is my loudest car I own. So, yeah, I'm going to let this warm up. Then, once I pull it out, I'm going to come back to y'all. and I'm going to let y'all choose which one y'all would rather have. And like I said before, any any old school car that y'all want, put it in the comments and let me know what y'all want. Which, or any, it really any car. It don't even have to be an old school. It could be a newer car. It could be a really expensive car. It could be a really cheap car. Well, it can't say cheap because a lot of cars is not cheap anymore. But yeah, y'all, whatever car that y'all want, any dream car, new, old, really old, 50s, 70s, 90s, 80s, 2000s, 2020s, any, any new, any car, you feel me? Put in the comments, let me know what y'all think. Because I got a few of myself that I really want to get. Probably like one or two newer cars and the rest older. So. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna let this warm up a little bit, then I'm gonna catch y'all once we pull it up. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm I was just imagining both of these cars are already finished with wheels on them, the wheels that I want. Customized, fully customized, you feel me, with paint, like I said, wheels. And then I got my own crib with both of these cars side by side in the driveway or in my garage actually. Bro, this is it's so hard, bro. Look at this both of them in one frame I, I just feel like I'm blessed you feel me I got my dream car 84 just a 80s models box Chevy my dream car and then a car I'm rebuilding not only for myself but because it was my dad's you feel me so like I said both of the cars in one frame and now y'all pick y'all poison which one would y'all rather build uh, 87 Cutlass or 84 box Chevy Caprice now me personally, I don't know which one I'll choose now that I got them side by side. Both of them run and drive. Both of them sound really good. They're not fast. Neither one of them are fast. But this one is all original besides paint and interior. This one is all original besides, like I just changed the fenders and then the the motor. You feel me? So I'm, I'm not going to, this one, I'm not going to change no interior seats. I want to get bucket seats if I can find some. But I, they gotta be like a navy blue or a blue bucket seats. This one, I, I'm gonna leave it how it is. I'm just gonna change the color scheme and change the material on the seats. But like I said, which one would y'all rather have? A box Chevy or an Oldsmobile Cutlass? Two door Cutlass or a four door box Chevy? Me personally, I, I don't know which one I choose. Even though box Chevys are my dream, I, I've always wanted to own a box Chevy since I was young, like really young. I've always wanted a box Chevy. I used to have a whole bunch of toy box Chevys. Like, like the $20 cars that's not small, they're kind of like, kind of like this big. 
from here to here like not not small kind of like remote control cars but they they didn't come with remotes and you can open like the doors and, and the hood and stuff of it i used to have a couple of them but i think we ended up throwing them away a long time ago and also guys when i was a kid i used to tear them little cars apart they like i said they like remote control cars but they don't come with remotes and you can open the doors and the hood and the trunk i used to tear them apart take the wheels off and put the wheels on different on different cars that i had i had a bunch of them take the wheels off put them on different cars take the interior part of the toy cars put them in different cars i used to customize my own little cars you feel me but now i'm transforming it to irl with real big cars you feel me and one of them is my dream car like i said the box chevy i always wanted to own a box chevy since i was younger my dad has one and he told me i could take it and i plan on doing that once i'm able to get my own crib or get me like a little shop or something to where i can store all my cars at one place because i don't want to take it and i don't have nowhere to put it so that's my only it's the only thing right now but yeah let's go through the cars you feel me we're gonna start off with my 87 cutlass it is uh oldsmobile cutlass salon like i said 1987 with original t-tops original motor 50v8 307 and the only thing my dad did to this car was paint interior and had the top redone and now i gotta do all that myself i gotta find wheels that i want to i want to put on here i gotta get the interior done the dash i'm, I'm gonna be ordering one like so i gotta get the interior done i want to take this tent off because i don't like i me personally i don't like tent on old school cars that's just me probably on like a 96 impala sort of like tent but I, I really don't like tent on old schools most people have their old schools interiors done so i think why not show off your interior so I, me personally like i said i don't like tent on old school cars but everybody got their own preference but yes like i said original t-tops custom interior and if y'all did not check it out the last video well video before the last one we cleaned the interior up a little bit now only thing i gotta do is strip off this paint but my back seats look really good no more filth no more dirt my rear deck even my side panels and i fixed my cluster to where it's reading the right gas y'all see i got half a tank of gas which is all premium like i said i put 93 in this car and i'm changing the box chevy gas once i run that all out so yep my gas um all my gauges work once i start the car the oil hand will go back up my battery volts will go up and my temp all of it worked the only that the only one that don't work is my mouse power and i can probably figure that out if i take it back off we got a huge i think it's a 13 inch screen right here and i gotta finish hooking up my eq and i also found the flooring so i can get my flooring redone not the carpet but the actual frame flooring of the car so i'm gonna end up ordering that so i can get that put in find somebody to weld it in i was gonna try to weld it myself but like i said this is a car that i want to take the show so i don't think i'm gonna do that i'm not gonna shut the door all the way both of my cars now have license plates on them so yep like i said we've done a lot to this car and we still got a lot to do with this car box chevy is pretty much almost done only thing i gotta do is get the corner and light put on the passenger side and yeah then get it painted i already got the wheels i gotta get tires though but we're going i want to go 28s on this car but i can't find any and i don't want to pay like five to ten thousand for a set of wheels right now because you feel me being honest i can't afford that just for a set of wheels i'd rather you feel me use that money and try to invest it just so i can get some return back because as of right now i'm not getting no return off of my cars this is just for my personal preference because i'm not making nothing off off these videos you feel me but yeah this the box chevy we done like i said we done a lot with this car so much have over half of my youtube journey has been with this car just one car specifically you feel me from fender extension pieces front and back to actual replacing the fenders to replacing the trims fixing my ha halo headlights changing the headlights new headlight housing put a grill on there because they they stopped making the new ones but now they finally making them again but yeah i could probably give me a new one so it'll look a little better it'll look more polished putting emblems on taking off the impact strip because 
I don't want to pay a thousand dollars for just impact strips. I mean, I'm gonna end up having to do it, but as of right now, I'm fine with how it looks. Like I said, fender. I gotta get. I got the corner and light. I just gotta get it put in. Um, changing out wheel studs, putting on new lug nuts. What else have we done? Um, fixing my music. Trying to customize a rear deck. Let me see if y'all can see it. Yeah, trying to customize a rear deck. It don't look terrible, but it don't look good. To change it, I ain't got this door unlocked, but changing my headliner, putting new TV in there, new radio, I mean, yeah, radio, EQ, steering wheel, gear shifter. I still gotta get a dash for this car as well, which is, I think it's $179. It's not too bad, but it's kind of expensive. Exterior, well, I mean, back seat. We ain't really done nothing in the back seat besides the rear deck and then fixing the one that holds my speakers in. Get this off. I don't know what this is. It's a little dirt. Um, I got earth shocks on here with dual exhaust and it got a muffler. I don't know what muffler. I, it sounds like I said, this car is really loud and it sounds good. I like I like louder old school cars. And I need to get the exhaust redone on this one. I want to go. I don't think I'm going to go straight pipe, but I know I want to go with it exhaust like this one to where it comes out the side like that instead of coming out the back as this one does y'all see come out the back i wanted to come a little bit over here just like my buck chevy i i just like that better you feel me we changed the rear lenses like i said the fender extensions new trunk emblem yeah like i said we've done a lot to like i said most of my youtube journey has been with just just this buck chevy and I told y'all this is my dream car. It don't I didn't I don't really care if I have the quarter top that comes right here or the full head or the ball head, which I have the ball head. It don't bother me. Just as long as I had a box Chevy is all I cared about. And once I get my dad's, I'm gonna have two and I won't have to worry about buying another one. I was gonna try to buy another one. But now, like I said, I don't think well I don't wanna buy another one because my dad told me I could have his. So I'ma just take his and I'ma have his I'm have his black and blue Suburban. He got a custom Suburban too as well with custom interior. His box Chevy has custom interior with a custom paint job, which is a little bit old. He said he need to get it redone. And his black and blue Suburban, I think it's an 87. He told me I could have that truck too. I've always wanted that truck since I was a kid too. I wanted his truck, that 87 Suburban, his black and blue two-tone. And it's, I wanted his box Chevy ever since I was young. And he told me I could take them now. I just need me a place to have them. So, yeah, both his, all, all his cars that he's ever owned, he's always customized the, the exterior and the interior. And most of them are motor swaps. And both of his cars that he told me I can have are both motor swaps. So, yeah, but like I said, pick y'all poison. Which one would y'all rather have? It's a lot we gotta do with this one still. For instance, the first thing I need to do is give me another Euro clip and then start stripping out the paint of the interior so we can start repainting it and then getting a new dash. And your motor wise, this car is perfectly fine. It starts, it cranks up, it runs perfect. This one too, cranks up, runs perfect. I think I need to get my battery charged on the box Chevy. But both of them motor wise is perfect. And like I said, I don't know which one I'd rather have. If I, if, if I had the option to only have one. That I do not know if I'd rather have this t-top because I, I really like seeing having like a sunroof you feel me sunroof type vibes and since this is a t-top it's kind of like sunroof vibes you know t-tops do come off it's just a little chilly today so i ain't feel like taking them off but they come off i gotta get weather stripping yeah so like i said y'all let me know which one y'all rather have pick y'all poison me personally i don't know which one if i had the option to only choose one out of these two to take home with me right now let's say i don't own them you feel me i don't know which one i would choose they told me it's free so yeah that's what i'm gonna say 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 these cars are free and you got the option to pick one of these two and the only thing you really gotta do say everything's complete the only thing you gotta do is paint them and say interior is done and uh, like i said wheels on them the only thing you gotta do is paint them which one would you choose me personally i don't know which one i would choose because i like the two-door vibe but i love box chevys i really love box chevys you know so 
Y'all let me know which one y'all would choose. I, like I said, I don't know which one I would choose, and I'm just blessed. I'm happy that I'm able to own both of these. Box Chevy has always been my dream car. The second behind the Box Chevy has always been a Regal, but it had to be a Grand National or a GNX. You feel me? I, I wanted a Regal, bad, or a T Type. I've always wanted a Regal. Regal always been behind Box Chevy. Then third, it was my Cutlass. Then fourth, it's a Monte Carlo, and I'm, I've been trying to look at Monte Carlos, but. Monte Carlos is just as high as any other old school car. You feel me? So it's going to be hard for me to try to find a Monte Carlo. But I want a project one. The one I got to build up. Like work on motor and all this stuff. I don't want one that's already complete. Because I don't know. I just It's just me. But I love building my own cars. And that's what I'm doing with these. Both of these is my project cars. They're not finished. A couple things left to do on both of them. Well, a couple things on the box Chevy. A lot left to do on the Oldsmobile. But like I said, it's... I don't want a car that's already fully complete, or older car anyways. Maybe like a newer Charger wide body. But the older cars, I want a project so I can build it up myself and have it looking the way I want it to look, you know? Sorry about the, the lighting. But yeah, that's, that's, how, that's how it is with me, you feel me, with the older cars anyways. But like I said, y'all pick y'all poison, which one y'all choose? I don't know which one I'll choose. But I'm blessed that I can have both of them, you know? So, yeah. These are my two cars. My other one is somewhere else, my Charger. And, and yeah, my, my Charger is my daily, so I drive it nonstop. But I decided to start driving a Cutlass now since I got it fixed, put all that money in the motor. And getting it running, running perfectly, you feel me, so. Yeah, which one would y'all choose? I'm gonna go ahead and put the box Chevy back because I'm pretty sure the battery went back dead. And I don't know what's draining it because my alternator is unplugged. I only plug it in when I'm driving it. So I don't know what's draining that battery. And all my music is off. Nothing cuts on unless you cut the car on. Maybe just because it was sitting. I don't know. But yeah, which one would y'all choose? all right guys so that's gonna be the end of this one like i said which one of these two would y'all choose then put in the comments any old school or new school car that you really want like right now really want really really want you feel me and if say money wasn't a thing you can just go and get it which one would you choose but like i said i appreciate y'all for tuning in it's gonna be the end of this one i'm blessed that i can own both of these cars and they are two of the my top four old school cars that I've always, I've always wanted you know so and I got them so it's a blessing you feel me and I'm glad I can bring y'all along with me on this journey now the next video is gonna be something I've been trying to do ever since I started working on this Cutlass and yeah I'm, I'm excited to do that one too but first it's got a couple other things I got to do not recording wise but a couple other things I got to do before I start recording that video so y'all stay tuned like I said it's gonna be the end of this one if y'all got dreams and goals go after y'all dreams and goals not because I'm saying it but because it's something you want and need to do you know even if you don't even if your dream and goal don't get achieved just as long as you can say that you tried and you went after it and you gave it your all that's the main thing that matters you try and you get your own you feel me i'm going after mine it might not work it might work i don't know but all i know is that i'm trying you feel me and my dream is doing youtube and like i said i'm doing my dream right now recording these videos for y'all and i don't know if it's gonna work out but at least i'll try it and i'm trying you feel me but like i said it's gonna be the end of this and i appreciate y'all for tuning in i love and appreciate y'all with all my heart you feel me if it weren't for y'all I would not still be doing recording these videos and posting them for y'all. So like I said, I love and appreciate y'all. It's going to be the end of this one. I'll catch y'all on the next one.